In today's Midday Fix, a look at problems new college graduates are facing right now and how to handle them. Marilyn Bird is district president of Robert Half. That's a specialized staffing firm in the Chicago area. I guess the good news is the job prospects are pretty good for college kids right now. Absolutely, much better than in the past years. Okay, so we've got some sticky situations that they can get into. One of them is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you have more than one offer, given that it is such a good time for them, how do you go about making the right decision? Well, we advise them to take a look at more than just the offer, just the salary, but to really dig into the culture of the company, the future, the career path, and especially who am I going to report to. Who their manager is helps them make a good decision. Right, absolutely, because that's the person they're working the with every day. The relationship is everything, yes. And what about if you do only have one job offer? Do you have any negotiating skills there because it's like... I have to take this job. You know what, you might, but what's important there is you have to use facts. You have to go to some kind of outside objective source to see what is the market rate, what is fair, and if the offer's below, you bet you can negotiate. But if it's not, it's really not appropriate. So it's really just do your research. Do your research. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the folks who are graduating and do not have a job, what would you suggest they do? Take an internship, take a part-time job, or make your full-time job looking for a full-time job? My advice is to stay busy. Our clients, employers want to see people that are working, showing initiative. Take a temporary job, do an internship, volunteer. Just do something that shows that you're out there trying to gain experience. Okay, let's face it, in this day and age, parents are very involved. Let's, <laughs> the world of helicopter parents. Mm -hmm. And what if your parents don't want you to take a job? How do you handle that conflict? This is a real scenario because the current generation takes so much involvement and advice from their parents. What we advise there is really have an outside mentor. Your parents' opinion is very important and it can help you make a good decision, but you want to balance the objectivity by having an outside mentor, maybe a college professor who knows you well, but in a different setting. Maybe a mentor from the business setting who's completely objective just to help you get the right decision the first time. That's wonderful advice and it can actually help you have meaningful discussions with your parents as well if they're not thinking they're battling with you, but there's another adult in the equation. And it helps just feel good about the decision long term. Now, young people, of course, are talking to one another, be it on social media or texting and this and that. And so I know what your job offer was, and, and I think, oh, well, we graduated mm -hmm. with, in this, with the same degree. I maybe got better grades than you. Why am I not making as much money? I think you got to be careful there in terms of going back to the facts again. You have to take a look at the size of the company, the job function. Do your research, and you have to match it up. Is it really a better offer for the same exact job? Again, find out all the objective information, and then you can make a decision about whether or not you want to have that conversation. And then let's face it, those of us who have been in the business world for years know that not every fit is a good one, even when you think it's going to be. So what about those who took the job and a month into it say, oh, I've made a grave mistake. Mm -hmm. How long do you stick with it? That's a tough one because it really has to be determined by what the root cause is. Are you just adjusting? Are you just trying to figure things out and it's more difficult than you thought? Or is it really a bad fit for you culturally? If there's something in the environment that's uncomfortable or against some of your values, it's causing you any kind of anxiety, that's probably more significant. My best advice would be to talk to the supervisor, talk to a coach at that work environment. Why not air the concerns that you have and take advice from them? Maybe it's normal or maybe it's just not the right environment. Uh, communication is the key to finding out that information. And I have one more question. I was reading about the fact that the resume itself is not as important. Resume and cover letter. Is that true? It is true because there's just so much immediate information available on candidates, their backgrounds. If you think about all the websites where you can post information, your job history. And the it's social just, media profiles. <laughs> it's just not as important as it was in the past. Thank you. This has been some tremendous advice. and We've got a lot of people who are facing these decisions right now because they've just graduated and they want to begin their life. So thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. We've got more information at WGNTV.com slash midday. And we'll be right back with the day's top stories. Thank you.